bloody hell. This is a really awesome site, isn't it? Giant ships with great huge chunks ripped off them. My God, look over there. They've peeled away the side of the ship. The scale of this is just incredible. Like the, and the whole of the back is off this one and this one. And then there's more stretching out into the distance. We can see dozens of them. Well, look at the, all the oil in the water down here. Black gunk floating on the surface. It's no question it's coming from these ships. Every year, scores of tankers and container ships are deliberately rammed onto this 10-mile stretch of beach. It's a filthy and highly dangerous business. The workers descend on the ship and start to tear it apart. What do they use? They use blow torches, hammers, axes, anything they, they have. Yeah. Hundreds of them, even children, are employed here. You know. And is that one of the reasons why people aren't happy for us to film it from shore? Because we'll see That's the right. children working. That's there. right. Right. Children working and workers dying every now and then. Sometimes they fall off from a height of 60 story tall building. Sometimes they're crushed under um, heavy metal falling onto them. Sometimes they're suffocated inside a gas chamber. Oh my God. So people are, there are accidents here fairly regularly then by the sound of it. Very regular accidents, very regular. About eight people die a month. Each month? Each month. Well, that's hundreds over the, over the recent years then. Yes. Good God. Yet in a poor country like Bangladesh, thousands of people are willing to take the risk in return for wages of just a few pounds a day. There are about 40 shipbreaking yards here, each run by a different businessman. Though they may not be seaworthy anymore, the ships are still worth a fortune as scrap metal, and yard owners will pay a few million dollars for each one. The main road from Chittagong is lined with scrap dealers. Almost every last fragment of the dismantled ships is salvaged and recycled. And they'll sell these on? They'll sell the engines on? Yes, they will sell the engines, you see? A huge proportion of the value of the dead ships is simply the metal. The shipbreaking yards claim they supply more than half of Bangladesh's steel. But there's a great deal more on offer. Look at this! Toilets. Are you selling these toilets? Toilet. Is this for you? Uh, sheep. Who buys these? Modde. Bare mere fitting kore. Eta fitting kore bathroom e shipe byabohar kore, gusul khana shipe byabohar kore. Jonna diye gusul kore. Perfectly functional. All right. Granted, it's a little bit mucky at the moment. I've stayed in hotels that are worse than this. See, this isn't a chuck away country. This is a country where stuff is reused. <laughs> 